it's a big topic, you know. Yeah. And like Bitcoin went through this um, 2017 scaling wars, and we we saw a spike in in Bitcoin land, and then we built more efficiencies, and then uh, now we've got layer twos, which are you know Lightning, and now you've got a nation state using it for payments, and so scaling eventually got solved, and I think scaling will get solved with ETH with their layer twos. Um, like uh and like zk rollup don't ask me exactly what that is i'm not like a coder technologist but there is ways you can take it onto a higher layer just like lightning did but completely different ways for smart contracts eth is in this very weird situation it's both a strength and a weakness is that it's a monetary asset that competes with bitcoin um without the sort of um you know guarantees that security and um Monetary Security policy. guarantees and, and um, you know, monetary policy guarantees. But um, it does, there's no questioning, it does compete. I know plenty of family offices and even some corporate treasuries that hold ETH. Um, so it is being used as an inflation hedge. You've seen JP Morgan say it might be better investment than um, Bitcoin and shit like that. But, you know, while it's got this monetary policy thing, like this monetary property thing, it's got this other thing, which is it's a smart contracts compute engine where people are building really interesting experiments and products that are useful on it that is demanding um, block space. I was pushing fees through the roof because of this. And then, like, you know, they've done this thing where they're going to harvest that fee and burn their own token to push the monetary side, you know, like to create more scarcity, to push the monetary agenda. Um, so they've gone on a rock and a hard place because they've got this um, compute engine that is really skyrocketing the fees because of the demand on the block space. And then you've got this monetary side that's yielding that that demand to push the price up. Um, and so it's I feel like it's like um, Bitcoin in 2017 mm. where, um, you know, you've got scaling wars and everything's congested and people are saying, ah, oh, bail to um, Litecoin and shit like that, right? Um, but then meanwhile, you've got a lot of these layer twos that are coming on and I think they're in a hard place right now, but I think they'll get through it um, and fees will drop. And then we've got to figure out whether or not um, they win against Solana and AVAX and Polkadot and all the competitors. And um, we're seeing, the interesting thing we're seeing is that apps are jumping, right? They're like deciding, no, nah, I'm not going to build on Ethereum, I'm going to build on Solana. And, and um and they don't take this lightly because there's billions at stake for them and they need network effects on their other platform before they want to jump. Um, that's the hardest bit. But that sh this whole experiment has shown that um, Ethereum being a compute platform is like what we've seen in, um, you know, dev um, technology where you have all of these technology platforms and people will jump and... Um, you know, we, we, Twitter was built on Ruby on Rails, you know, this yeah. language that was popular at its time, and now it's not. It's jumped to platforms, but it's still Twitter, and the app's still there, and the users still use it, but we don't really give a shit what underlying compute is underneath it. And I think that's happening, and it, it shows that competition is wide open for um, that sort of compute layer for smart contracts. Computing the finance engine is wide open, Um Ethereum's both monetary and compute, and any any one of these networks that wins a lot of adoption will then become like um, somewhat monetary whilst they're in that you know hybrid mode, and that balance will need to be struck. Um, so that's my thoughts. I think that, that it's hard they'll get through it. Um, and they're in the middle of forging the monetary side of it, um, which they really. You know, decided they'd go down with the Ethereum Improvement Protocol one five five nine. You know, that that was the, that was it's like we're gonna make this monetary. We're gonna make scarcity a thing, and it's gonna be the detriment temporarily to our compute side.